Welcome back. Let's now take a look at the fallback key returned from get static paths. The first thing to note about the fallback key is that it is mandatory. That is the reason we had to include it two videos ago. The fallback key accepts three possible values. False, true, and blocking. When it comes to performance and user experience, understanding the behavior of static generation for each of these values is really important. And that is exactly what we are going to do. In this video, I'm going to help you understand what happens when we assign a value of false to fallback. In the next video, we will take a look at fallback set to true and the video after we will take a look at fallback set to blocking. Now we are going to continue with the code we had from the previous video. We have a dynamic page with a parameter post ID. We want this page to be statically generated for which we use get static props. Since the page is a dynamic page, it is also mandatory to specify the get static paths function to inform Next.js of the possible values for post ID. Now at the moment, we are returning post IDs from one to 100. However, to account for the different scenarios possible when setting a value to the fallback key, I'm going to make a small change in the code. We're going to go back to the scenario where we were only displaying three posts. So in index.js within the posts folder, within get static props, we're going to set posts to data dot slice zero comma three. So only the first three posts. Back in post ID dot JS, instead of fetching all the post IDs and returning them, I'm only going to return post ID one, two, and three. Which now brings us to this fallback key with a value of false. Here are the points to keep in mind. When fallback is set to false, the first point is that the paths returned from get static paths will be rendered to HTML at build time by get static props. The second point is that if fallback is set to false, then any path not returned by get static paths will result in a 404 page. Let's understand both these points with regards to our application. When it comes to pre-rendering, I always prefer building the application and running the built application instead of running in development mode. The built app resembles what we deploy to production, which is exactly what we want. So to be on the safer side, I'm going to delete this .next folder and then in the terminal, run the yarn build command. Now that the build is completed, let's go over the points from the slide. The first point is that the paths returned from get static paths will be rendered to HTML at build time by get static props. In post id.js, from get static paths, we return three paths where post id is one, two, and three. If we expand the .next folder, server, pages, and posts folder, we see 1.html, 2.html, and 3.html, which are the files generated for post ID 1, 2, and 3. Of course, the JSON files are also present for client-side navigation. So that covers the first point. Now for the second point. If fallback is set to false, which is true in our case, any path not returned by get static paths will result in a 404 page. 
In the terminal, let's start our built application using the yarn start command. In the browser, if I navigate to slash posts slash one, we see the post details. If I navigate to slash three, we see the post details. But if I navigate to slash four, we get the 404 page. And this is due to the fact that get static paths only returns post ID one, two, and three. So if I may repeat, if fallback is set to false, then any path not returned by get static paths will result in a 404 page. Now, when would you use fallback set to false? The false value is most suitable if you have an application with a small number of paths to pre-render and new pages are not added often. A blog site with a few articles is a good example for fallback set to false. Each blog post would be statically generated at build time, which helps with faster load times and SEO. So that is about fallback set to false. Hopefully nothing too complex to understand. What is relatively more complex though is fallback set to true. Let's understand more about it in the next video.